You will not believe the winter sewing gardening gift package I got in the mail today. I went to the box and reached in and got the most unique package I think I've ever gotten. And it's hidden under this dish towel right here. And you're going to see it in just a second. I haven't even opened it. The package is so unique. I wanted to show it to you. Now, I'm a uh, part of a winter sewing group on Facebook. It's called Winter Sewing Vegetable Gardening with Cheryl Mann. I think that's it. You can look it up. Anyway, fantastic group. Wonderful group of people all learning how to grow seedlings out in the snow and the cold. And one of my members asked for my address and said she wanted to send me a package. So I, did, I had no idea what was coming. So I'm not going to hold you captive any longer. Let me show you my gardening gift package. That is what was in the mailbox. No box, no package, no envelope. It is a winter sewing container. Isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? Look. She's got a little peace sign on top. This is Donna Mays. You are so awesome and so creative. Thank you so much. Got my name, her address on here, the little postage right there. And look what it says. Winter sewing YouTube guru. <laughs> That's the cutest darn thing. So I just had the best time with this, and I had to share it. I haven't even opened it yet. There's stuff in there. The package alone is beautiful. Look, little hand-painted flowers on there. What else? Snowflakes for winter sewing. I just love it. Thank you so much. So now I tried to get the seeds out the top, but I couldn't. I took the top off. Um, and for you, those of you who don't know what the heck this is about, we grow seedlings out in the snow and we throw soil and seeds, cut it open around the middle and put everything in there and then tape it back up and throw it out in the snow. And in a couple months in spring, we have these gorgeous hardened seedlings. So she actually made me, oh, get this. She actually drilled drainage holes on the bottom. We have to have drainage holes. She got the holes on the bottom. So if this isn't the cutest gift package I've ever, you've ever seen, I just don't know. So just sit tight and we're gonna I'm gonna open it up and I hate to even cut the tape. I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna see what's inside. Okay, my mind is officially blown with what's in this package. So I just opened up the container and took out a bag, and there were all these gorgeous seats in here. Donna, I am near tears over this present. I'm not kidding, this is so sweet of you. Let's show everybody. Okay, we're going to show you what I got. I got Mesclin Mix Deluxe. Little teeny seeds there. I got Lemon Balm, which I didn't know about. And she said I can actually juice this to get my juice with a lemony taste. Because I don't, I'm not a big tea drinker. And so I said, oh, I don't know about Lemon Balm. She goes, you can juice it. She looked it up. So I'm very excited about that. Yard Long Green Beans. I have not grown green beans. That's the miracle of this package. Not one seed she sent me have I grown before. And I've grown a lot of varieties. So these are all new. I mean, I just, I'm going to have to have like a million winter sewing containers. So green beans, Malabar spinach, pretty good sized seeds there. Basil lime, never grew that before. Little tiny seeds. Let me focus here. Upland cress. I've been wanting to grow cress bef before. I've heard it's got really super high nutritional profile, um, but I've never tried it. Asian spinach komatsuna. Smaller seeds there. Can't wait to grow that. Tromboncino or tromboncino squash. Gotta look, I got to look all these up. That's what's so exciting is every, anytime I get a new seed, um, I look it up and learn all about like how long it takes to grow, what the best environment is, how much to space them, etc. Vates kale or vates kale. Love kale. Nasturtium, mixed variety. Oh, this is going to be my first flower, edible flower ever. And Thai basil. Let's see what those seeds look like really fast. Oh, little teeny ones. Oh, it's the whole plant. It's... I got to pull it out while I got you here. Oh, so the seeds are mixed in here. How cool. Oh, it smells good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the smell is just pouring from that one. Thai basil. Love basil. Never had Thai. 
Okay, and bonus, as if <laughs> these are three bonus seeds, as if the whole package isn't a bonus. Okay, check out my bonus seeds. Berkeley Springs Community Garden Cantaloupe. Love me some cantaloupe. Oh, that's so nice that it came from the community. Another bonus, ginseng parsley. I cannot imagine the combo of parsley and ginseng, but I bet it's fantastic. And scarlet runner beans. I've never grown a bean. It's going to be so cool. Let's see what those look like. Am I opening the right end? No, this end here. Scarlet runner beans. Kind of intimidated by beans. You know, when you haven't grown something, you just don't know what you don't know. <gasps> look how beautiful. Got to focus here. I don't have a tripod today. I got to get you some of the color on this one. There. Oh, is that gorgeous. Runner beans. Can't get that to focus to save my soul. Okay, there we go. All right. Thank you, Donna. Thank you so much. You made my season, my day, week, month, and season. This is such a fantastic gift. Really enjoying it. And uh, I took off the tape that says Winter Sewing YouTube Guru, and I'm going to put it on, I uh, made it into a sign. I'm going to put it up over my desk to remember this moment. All right, sending you much love. Thanks to everybody in the group for being with us. I absolutely love our group and love all of you. And if you want to join the group, come down in the uh, description under the video, and I'll have a link for you because it's a kind of long name. But you can come over and join us and learn how to winter sew. Even if it's not winter now, you can learn for next year and start preparing. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks, Donna. Bye.